Joining me now, Bill McGurn, Wall Street Journal columnist and a Fox Business contributor. Bill, always great to see you and get your insight on where okay. we are uh, in this economy right now, because it's difficult to look at the market reaction today um, and think that, you know, we're in a bad place. Obviously, investors were getting in this market. They were buying. They were feeling good about it. Having said that, we've plummeted. And so some would say this was just bargain hunting and buying the dip. What do you think? I think we have no clue. If you look at it, if you pull back from the focus on today and look at the last year, the people that are supposed to know, the Fed first denied inflation, then said it was there, but it wouldn't be serious. I think President Biden only last month told us that it was zero under some formula he had. Now it's back with a vengeance. I think it's 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 getting uh it's getting at the point we need more modesty about our ability to control it. I think Chairman Powell thought he can engineer what they call soft landing, not much disruption. I think uh, with events in Britain, we see that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, certainly, it. look, I don't envy Chairman Powell. I imagine it's a very difficult spot right. to be in. No matter what you do, it's hard to get it exactly right. This is very complicated. Having said that, Bill, I can really argue both sides of this. So I'll start um, by saying that, you know, I, I thought we're headed into this deep recession. People like Jamie Dimon, Larry Fink, they're all warning uh, about the future, Larry Summers as well. And then you've got um, some, some tears that I saw today. One, for example, in the Wall Street Journal that the Fed's interest rate hikes are now starting to have an impact on the auto market, for example, right? People going to finance their car loans, making it harder. That strong new car demand that we saw is starting to diminish. In the real estate market, slowly we've been seeing prices are coming down across the board as rates are close to 7% now, slowing the housing market a little bit. When it comes to the inflation, you know, the food, the groceries, um, that kind of thing, I haven't really seen any evidence of it just yet, but I think these are signs that what the Fed's trying to do is slowly being accomplished? Well, I don't know. I think it's too early to know. Um, you know, inflation has come back a little stronger, suggesting they may have to raise interest rates more. Uh, I think, again, that's a great myth. You can fine tune these things and predict and know exactly how far to push the lever without causing great harm. Mm. Uh, we should have a lot more modesty about predicting these things. I think it's clear we spent too much money. We're throwing fuel on that fire. Um, you know, President Biden only Saturday, I think he said he's sick of hearing about that. Yeah. He doesn't want to hear about spending too much. Of course he doesn't want to hear. It's the primary thing he's done. And then we pretend that it's not going to have the consequences in inflation when we go to the grocery market or the gas pub. So I think we're in a lot of denial now. So that's the flip side of the argument, right? We've spent over $4 trillion in 19 months um, right. at a very short period of time, very large sum of money, and it would be impossible to bring the inflation rate down uh, without the Fed even being more aggressive. So we should continue to see a couple, maybe more hikes into, you know, the end of the year before Jerome Powell can ease up. But with respect to what you said about spending, we do have the soundbite from the president defending his spending. Listen to this, Bill. I'm so sick of Republicans saying we're the big spenders. Give me a break. Give me a break. I know I'm being banged up by the Republicans, but come bring it on. Give me a break? Inflation's over 8%. Give me a break. You know, it happened because we spent so much. Ja yeah, Jackie, what happened to the President Biden who s would say to people, I know at the dinner table you're feeling the crunch of inflation, families are struggling. All of a sudden that's disappeared. You know, no concern. It's just Republicans, apparently, who feel inflation or think there's more inflation. Um, I don't think it's a tenable position. Let me ask you this, because I ask everybody who comes on the show, when it comes to interest rates having an impact on the housing market, anything that's financed, right, auto loans we just discussed, that's one thing. When it comes to um, oil and gas, for example, when it comes to food prices, interest rates don't really impact, right? It's a supply-demand issue. And the problem still is we don't have enough supply, and we haven't made moves to try to increase that supply. So when you're talking about oil and gas specifically, we've got OPEC saying we're probably going to cut production because they want to keep that price up. Right. Um, and when it comes to the war in Ukraine, where we get a lot of our grains, for example, that continues to drag on and on. So, so when it comes to the overall inflation number on that side of it, I see this continuing to be a, a nagging problem. Yeah, look, 
a couple of basic principles. You can't spend money you don't have. When you borrow it, you're going to get inflation like we are. We're spending so much and we don't have it. And it has a consequence. So I, I think that's just common sense. With regard to energy, um, you know, simple supply and demand. If you're not increasing supply, um, the price is going to go higher. Right. And uh, President Biden has done nothing on the supply side. He's done everything on the demand side, nothing to increase supply, not just of oil, but of all the alternatives. So I think we're we're heading for some really choppy winds. And that's the thing about um, inflation. When it gets out of hand, you know, the Fed is largely devoted to inflation, you know, nothing else. And they can't even get that right. When it gets out of hand, the measures to tame it are harsher than they would have been if you hadn't spent all that money and done all right. those things before. Right. Um, Some people have said, no Bill, evil, you know, if, no evil, if they would have just, no if they would have used a little discretion when it came to spending and maybe spent half as much, I don't know, we wouldn't be in the but, situation that we'd be in. Um, Bill, we are out of time, so I just, I, I got to run, but we okay. will have you on again soon. Thank you, Bill McGurn.